So it's a beautiful Saturday in Seoul. We just finished having lunch and we both have mouthfuls of candy. <laughs> Keeping it classy like that. Oh yeah. But we have a really fun activity planned. We are going to be playing dress up and we are renting hanbok, which is the traditional Korean dress. And then we're going to be parading around Seoul in fancy outfits. So yeah, I'm super excited. Visiting palaces and temples. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great time. Mm -hmm. So let's go let's there. Sammy boy forgot to bring his metro card and now he has to get a new one. Not the Good best one. Start to the day. Good one, Sam. Not the, best start to the, day. the nice thing about the Seoul Metro is that these machines have English as an option, so it makes it a lot easier to figure out where you're going. So we got off at Chungmuro exit 8 and now we're gonna go find the shop and play dress up. We found it! We found it. Check out the sign. So inside the Kia building. One day handbook. Third floor. But they're only going to be here until December and then they're moving to a new location in Bokchon. So we just got here and now we're waiting for our turn to pick out some outfits. Yeah, so we did come on the weekend, so it's quite busy, so yeah. we'll just wait and uh, eventually get it, get to try it on. Yeah, but you know what? It would be better if we had made a reservation. You can actually do that online, we were just a bit lazy. No, we know. Sam has to choose two outfits he likes. Yeah, and it's basically a three-piece set, so you choose your long shirt, and then you get your vest over yes. here, and then finally the pants down there. Alright, well, so. good luck. I'm off to find something pretty for myself. Bye-bye! <laughs> Have like a beauty counter with straighteners where you can like do your hair before you go out. Headbands, I'm gonna get a headband. This is awesome. Bobby pins, oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay, Sam, time to model your hanbok. How are you feeling? They are a lot lighter than what I expected. I thought they would feel more bulky to have on. Uh -huh. It's got such like a silky and like smooth feel to it. Yeah. It doesn't actually feel like I'm wearing extra clothes right now. Because we put these over top of our normal clothes. Yes. So. Yeah, so we can see your button down shirt over there. <laughs> but yeah, you look like but Aladdin. Yeah, feels really comfortable. A Korean Aladdin. I need to rock these outfits here in Seoul. All right. And? And I feel like a true princess. I went for some autumn colors. So some gold, some deep reds, some creams. I feel girly, what can I say? I don't know. All right, so we've been getting quite a bit of attention in these outfits. But I don't know why, I mean, wait, this is how we normally dress. We blend right in, right? <laughs> no. no one else is wearing this. So right now we're just waiting for the metro to arrive and then we're going to visit some palaces in Seoul. So we need to parade around the city in these cool outfits. And the cool thing is that if you try to visit the palaces and you're dressed in a handbook, you get free admission. So keep that in mind. It might be worth renting your handbook and visiting the palaces on the same day if you're looking to save some money. So we have arrived at our first palace of the day, feeling pretty royal in our outfits. Yeah. So what's we're, this one? We're at Changdokgung. Yes. And uh, it's just, it's incredible to be walking around in handbook. I mean, how often do you get to do this? We have now arrived at our second palace of the day. We're at Changgyeonggung. Yeah, and this palace I actually like a little bit more than the previous one. It's a little more scenic. We're seeing more fall colors and there's not mm -hmm. as many people too, which is quite an added bonus, I must say. Yeah, it's also up on a little bit of a hill, so you get some really nice views looking down. Next 
Next up, we are heading into the Jongmyo Shrine, which is right across the street from the two palaces we just finished visiting. Yeah, and the cool thing is that it's only on Saturdays that you can go and visit by yourself without a guided tour. Yes. So we are visiting on a Saturday, which gives us access to kind of just roam around. to say farewell to her beautiful gowns. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Like, I don't want to take mine off. <laughs> I'm getting yeah. used to it. I'm just starting to get used to it. Yeah, and we got so many compliments, like walking around the city, riding the subway, walking through the palaces. Like we had Yeah, people. we had some people come up and clapping. They're clapping and, at oh, us. Oh, beautiful. Smiling. <laughs> so it just, it just made for a really pleasant afternoon. Mm -hmm. And it was fun and we interacted with a lot of people. And so you can rent these handbooks for four hours and mm -hmm. they're 13,000 won each. Yes. So in total, we paid 26,000 won. Iman Yukton won, which is, I don't know, probably about 22 US dollars, I would say. Yeah. 21, 22 US yeah. dollars. So pretty, you know, not too expensive and just a really fun way to spend an afternoon in Seoul. Mm -hmm.